Startups in Korea have mostly been concentrated in the IT industry, but recently a bunch of noteworthy media entities have been popping up, catering to the ever evolving needs of a diverse global audience eager to learn more about Korea. These new media players are also upping the ante for quality journalism. Kim Jung Soo reports. It's said that the media industry in Korea is nearing saturation. That in terms of both content and reach, it's got all its bases covered. But the country's media startups beg to differ. They think there's a lot more room for growth and experimentation. One such startup is Korea Exposé, an online-based English news and culture magazine that writes on South Korea with an insider's perspective. Slightly before the site was formally launched in August 2014, its chief founder, Ku Seung, submitted a piece called An Assault on Our Children to the New York Times. In it, he talks about the country's hierarchical education system and how it makes students sacrifice happiness for success. The piece went viral and was later translated into Korean by Yonhap News, giving him much-needed confidence about his new project. Hopefully, when people outside Korea see the problem, then, and then they criticize it, maybe it will bring out some kind of reform within South Korea. It was an interesting insight for me to hear the idea that everybody knows the problem is there, but they don't necessarily talk about it. They say good students and people in general are products of a good environment, and Korea Exposé is one of a handful of companies being incubated by the country's sole media startup accelerator, MediaT. On the same floor with Korea Exposé is G Pictures, a two-man company founded by a 21-year-old. G Pictures produces video content targeting the country's young demographic, mostly students. One of its most popular videos dealt with menstruation in schools. Yes, our students practice so-called democracy in our schools through mock elections, but really such institutional practices don't mean much in our schools if there isn't an open room for discussion. Bediati's founder says he is intent on fostering media companies that address previously unrecognized needs. Korea's traditional media has a lot to be proud of, but I also see how improvements can be made both in terms of content and accessibility, especially in the current media environment. Unlike Korea's often problematic educational system, the relationship between startups and Bediati is not an ordinary student-teacher relationship. Ku says it's marked by mutual respect. Bediati is a minority shareholder in the magazine and rarely interferes with decisions regarding content. Ultimately, uh, we believe in media freedom. I think we, everybody needs to be able to say what he or she wants in a very free and honest way. But if you get money from particular sources and you become dependent on it, then you are not going to be true to yourself. You have to abide by somebody else's agenda. So that's what we're learning here at Mediati. We are being trained to be independent financially, not just editorially. I think a good example is the presidential election. Uh, we went into depth focusing on different aspects of the story, and we had a one-on-one -on -one interview with Shin sang Jung, who is a minor political candidate, but she's a very prominent politician nevertheless. But from the perspective of the foreign media, because she's from a minor party, she doesn't merit the sort of coverage that Korea Exposé was able to do. Ultimately, Ku hopes he can make Korean society realize that it shouldn't be marginalizing its problems, but rather embracing them, a sentiment shared by other media startups as well. Not a country that is very good at talking openly about problems that it has. This is not just about Korea. It's, there are lots of problems everywhere because this is human nature. Human society is flawed. But in Korea, criticism is not something that is encouraged. When I see Korean newspapers these days, they're often a flurry of specific details without offering much context. They already assume readers will think the news is important. But with our videos, we try to link the personal with public. They say that learning takes a lifetime. The common adage in the media is to always be careful of making generalizations. But it appears a growing question is not just to find a balance, but also make deeper connections between the particular and the general, and between the local and the global. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.